Now, this part is very important because I will show you the basic operations that we will do throughout this course. Because we will do a lot of work here, but it can make it may create some chaos in your mind if you don't understand really what are the basic operations that we are going to do. So we have this chaos, if you remember the previous uh, presentations. This is what is the web before the information is sent from the web server to the front end and displayed on the on the monitor with their graphics and text content images and so on. How we can get this information using VBA? So basically we need to understand the communication between the web server and the client. How to get this information while it's flowing between the server and the client? So we will do this with Visual Basic for applications. We may use also the Internet Explorer object or the browser. And we are going to get the DOM from the HTML document sent as a response from the web server to the browser. We will do the following. We are going to get the DOM. This is what we are going to do in most of our lessons. And we will do this with HTTP request. So we will do a request to the server by HTTP and we will get the response and we're going to then turn this response into a DOM document and we're going to pass the single elements. Or we can also get this information navigating using the Internet Explorer or the web browser objects. So object. So with these two objects, we can navigate to a URL and then send information, send a request and get the response back. So everything is basically an HTTP request. We're going to get an HTTP response. Once we have this response, we are going to get the DOM from the HTML document because we're going to save the HTML document into a DOM document object, which is an object which has the great feature to turn an HTML document into a hierarchical object structure. Or we may even get a portion of the DOM using regular expression. So the regular expression is also a feature of Visual Basic. We will see how to get part of this, of the DOM and get, or even part of the document, the HTML document, and turn this part into a small DOM object. Or even we're going to use directly the DOM document features to get the DOM or the XML DOM feature. So we were going to treat the HTML document as a DOM, as an XML document, but this has to be a valid HTML and XML document. Then we will going to parse the DOM also using the XML XPath, which is a feature of XML to get directly nodes, knowing the path with this node R. But of course you should know the structure of the XML or HTML file very well in advance. And as another feature, we're going to get content also directly to databases if we know the information or how to access these databases and we will use the RDB object to do this. So these are the main operations that we're going to do to retrieve information from the web using VBA.